Welcome back to the Microsoft AI Showcase. I'm your host, Sarah Armstrong. I'm excited to introduce to you today, Mike Beck. Mike is the Chief Information Security Officer at Darktrace. He brings with him 18 years of experience in the world of technology, security, and risk operations, including developing the cyber analyst operation that offers 24 seven support to Darktrace customers. We'll hear from him today about Darktrace's self-learning AI, featured on their cyber AI platform. So, hi Mike, welcome. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you here. So, should we start with some questions? Please. Mike, maybe you could start us off with a rundown of what Darktrace do. Sure. So, Darktrace um, is a leader in uh, cyber AI. Um, we've been going now for just over 11 years. We were founded in Cambridge in the UK. Um, and out of academia, we had mathematicians and experts in linguistics that wanted to solve security challenges. Um, roll forward to today, we have over 9,000 customers using our cyber AI platform to stop known and novel threats. And for our customer base, that means that they're utilizing uh, AI that sits deep inside their security stack and is figuring out what digital data means to them and being elevated out security narratives uh, that helps them stop attacks. What is self-learning AI and how does it set Darktrace apart from other security vendors in this space? Self-learning AI is all about utilizing a range of different learning techniques, uh, machine learning and AI, mm -hmm. that can understand how you as a business function. So how does Mike come into work in the morning? I open my laptop the people I communicate with via email, who am I teamsing with, which resource groups am I using, which cloud services am I utilizing. So across that range of digital data, uh -huh. piecing together how Mike functions and how the organization lives and breathes. And when you have that baseline of normal activity, you get to be, you get to a point where if an attacker presents themselves into that data mix, you're able to spot how the attacker is, is moving without having ever understood how an actor works. So if the attacker is coming through an IoT device, perhaps a, a security camera that sits in one of your locations mm -hmm. that's been unpatched, the attacker comes through there, they're not just gonna stay there, they're gonna move. They're gonna right. move laterally, they're gonna try and do something. Of course. And at that point, you'll be able to spot the actor in, in their tracks. Through abnormal activity? Absolutely. Okay, great. And how does Darktrace innovate using Microsoft technologies like Azure? Yeah, Darktrace, um, I think I'd probably go to two points to, to answer that question. I think the first is for our customers, Microsoft is a huge part of their technology stack and Azure is hosting an awful lot of that, cus that rich customer data that Darktrace is utilizing to do machine learning and AI to give our customers value back right. in terms of um, being able to process that into a security narrative. I think the second point is we're utilizing Azure uh, Cloud ourselves and building out a range of our products on top of that using cloud native techniques to give our customers hyperscale in terms of being able to process their data. Yeah, and that hyperscale, of course, being going global as well, right? So how do your customers benefit from the platform, enabling them to operate globally? I think um, if we look at security today, I think there is a huge amount of digital data that kind of security teams are being presented with. Yeah. I think the attackers are moving at speed in terms of that threat landscape. It's shifting Absolutely. very, very fast and more so than ever. And for us at Darktrace, our reason for being is being able to apply self-learning to that, that digital data, whether it sits in email, whether it sits in Teams messages, whether it's in SharePoint, other cloud services that, that people are consuming, piecing that all together and being able to elevate our security narratives into that, that security team who are stretched, who are really struggling with the day-to-day -day and so for us um, at Darktrace, it's providing almost a last mile security. If you take what perhaps Microsoft are doing at scale, you get the best of breed kind of threat intelligence, machine learning, AI applied across that data fabric. But for Darktrace, we learn you. 
and we learn exactly what you're doing in your enterprise. Mike, you're a CISO yourself. Um, you know that CISOs have so much to focus on now in the era of AI and the impact it's having on the global threat landscape. But if you had to identify one area that might be the best place for a CISO to start, where would that be? I think the best place to probably start is where 90% of attacks start, and that's probably email. email. Right. Um, it's one of those areas that's been massively impacted by generative AI. We know that attackers are using it to craft emails that are far more kind of um, far better at kind of more believable attention, more believable. Absolutely. Um, we know that generative AI has massively increased the scale factor. So we've got better emails, we've got more of them hitting that, that, that front end. So I think it's a perfect place to showcase um, why you need defensive AI why you need technology like Darktrace to learn how do I communicate with the outside world? How do I normally communicate with my peer group on the outside? What steps, you know, what hops to servers, you know, kind of normally used for emails to be delivered and sent? What else is my peer group doing? How do I normally communicate? And to kind of be able to take that knowledge in and apply that means that we can start to spot people who are using that email boundary. Right. I think the best thing to do is for us to take a look at the technology in action. And let's take a look. Darktrace detected an ongoing account takeover attack against a European customer trialing Darktrace email and Darktrace apps. During the trial, employees received over 150 emails containing a link to a spoofed Microsoft login page, which threat actors set up to harvest credentials. If Darktree's email had been in autonomous response mode, it would have recognized these emails as suspicious and stopped them before they reached employee inboxes. However, during the trial, Darktree's email was set to require confirmation before taking action. While the security team manually held some of the emails, others got through and over 40 employees opened them. Darktrace apps then began to detect multiple logins to SaaS accounts from unusual locations that had never previously been seen in this organization. This indicated the accounts had been hijacked. Darktrace also observed the creation of new email rules to automatically move emails sent from this initial malicious sender to another folder. This is a common tactic for threat actors to conceal their activity. Since Darktrace quickly detected this behavior, the customer was able to identify and disable the compromised accounts and stop the attack from progressing. As this threat demonstrates, Darktrace email and Darktrace apps leverage an understanding of each unique organization to recognize unusual, suspicious behavior. Beyond notifying the security team, Darktrace can take autonomous actions to neutralize attacks before the damage is done, therefore protecting against account takeovers. Well, that was an exceptional demonstration from Dartray. So thank you for that, Mike. Let's jump in with some questions if we can. Sure. So how does Dartrace remove the burden of email gateways and supercharge a customer's Microsoft Defender for Office 365 environment? I think we're in a place today where that we talked about already, that threat landscape yeah. changing rapidly. I think perhaps the old fashioned ways of doing security at the boundary, that kind of rules and signatures place. Uh, has absolutely lost an awful lot of value now today and attackers are, are getting through that very, very quickly and easily. I think when I look to how we've developed the Darktrace email product, which is all about kind of learning you, learning how your organization communicates, when we've done in conjunction with Microsoft and getting that kind of best of breed defender intelligence that sits right across all of your data sets being injected into the email solution at the front end, with Darktrace combined from the other lens, learning how you, you communicate and your company uh, lives and breathes. When you mesh those two together, you get a really, really high impact security product that is able to uh, absolutely deal with very, very advanced phishing that's, that's trying to get through your organization. So you talk about customer impact. Any recent success stories that you can share? 
absolutely. I think um, I see this an awful lot. I'm a customer of uh, Microsoft's E5 license and Darktrace together. Um, I get to speak to lots of CISOs as part of my job role, so I get a, a very good kind of view of that that threat landscape and how it's working. I think if I take a um, a customer in global media that I uh, spoke to very recently, um, there's an excellent example of um, uh, they've been hit by a large wave of QR code phishing. You know, it's um, it's highly popular at the moment, um, and that customer. Uh, was defended by Darktrace through the fact that this email infrastructure that was being used was brand new. It was trying to spoof their domain. It was trying to kind of use a lot of indicators that looked and felt like their company, um, but wasn't quite. And Darktrace obviously knows what normal looks like. When that campaign hits, there's an awful lot of indicators there that Darktrace used to block that um, on, on demand. It wasn't using any previously known knowledge. It hadn't seen the QR code before. It didn't have any elements of that as part of the defense. It just knew that that was abnormal compared to what Darktrace normally sees from that organization. Okay, that's great. I mean, sophisticated signal interpretation, really, right? And is there anything we haven't covered today about your solution, your platform that you'd like to share with the audience? I think all I would really want to say is the value of Darktrace is our ability to sit there and learn you. And when you mesh that together with uh, other technologies and particularly that Microsoft view of the world where Defender is giving you uh, a large stretch of machine learning, AI, best of breed threat intelligence, when you mesh that together with Darktrace's view of the customer and deep knowledge of how they live and breathe, you get uh, a very, very strong security solution. Okay. I'd love to sit and spend more time with you. It's fascinating to hear you talk about We Know You. I think that's a really powerful, simple message. But thank you so much. We are out of time. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a real pleasure to have you. Thank you, sir.